guys welcome back to my channel this is week two's update of the chloe ting challenge i've been doing her workouts now for two weeks and i can feel a difference like it may not look like it in the pictures I'm gonna just kind of go through like what i've been eating and like my progress and then i'll show you the before and after photos the first point i wanted to go over is what i did on each day i've actually kept this little log on my notes app on my phone so saturday the 25th i didn't i'm not including friday because i feel like because i make these update videos even though wait i think i'm gonna include friday but like the following so anyway just just listen to me. So Saturday the 25th, I did the 30 minute workout. What I mean by like the 30 minute workout, I did the 30 minute full body workout to burn fat and get abs and tone legs free workout program. So I will put a little screenshot um, of the 30 minute one. Um, and I will also link down all of the workouts I do. I have a whole playlist that I kind of just go by and pick from. I did the 30 minute one. I feel like the 30 minute one really like targets just like burning fat. And that's kind of just what I want to do. Monday the 27th, I did the 15 minute workout plus the arm workout. And the arm workout is the, it's like 11 minutes and it's the 10 minutes toned arms, no equipment because I don't wanna have to get equipment to work out at home. Except I, we already had this mat. So I did the toned arm workout because I really wanna get like leaner arms. I hate how this thing like kind of like goes out like that. I don't know why, it's just the way I made and I just, but I just wanna like get more fit so it's not like, bulging. I don't know. That's just my goal when I do the toned arm workout and it really does kill your arms and it works like all of the arm. So, and also your back. So I really like that one. The 15 minute one is intense. So it's only 15 minutes, but it is probably more tiresome than the 30 minute one. Then I don't work out Tuesday because I work Tuesday and you know, you need a couple days of rest. And then I worked out on Wednesday. On Wednesday, I did the 15 minute workout. On Wednesdays, I do work, but I don't wanna take off too many days. So on Wednesday, I just force myself to do the 15 minute workout to get some cardio in. I don't work out on Thursdays, again, because I work and I just don't wanna work out on Thursday. So Tuesday and Thursday are my days off. But today, Friday the 31st, I did three of her videos. I did the 30 minute workout. I did the two week ab workout and it is the get abs in two weeks. That one is intense, man. And then I did the arm workout, the one I just mentioned previously. Um, I think it's like get toned arms in 10 minutes with no equipment. That one, I wanted to just do some targeting ones um, to wrap up the week and everything. For food, I've actually like not had too many snacky foods, which is awesome. I did have some Cheez-Its at work on Wednesday because I was like, you know, I'm gonna be working out when I get home. So I'm gonna have some Cheez-Its. So I did have some Cheez-Its. I had my regular lunch that has like two cookies. Well, if you watch, if you've been around my channel, you kinda know what my lunch is, what I normally eat. That consists of pretzels and two double stuff Oreos because you know you can't cut out everything and celery and hard-boiled eggs so the celery and hard-boiled eggs aren't that bad or whatever but I do also have the other things I'm never gonna cut that out um when I did get home on Tuesday and Thursday guys when I get home from work I am starving like I've got to have something to eat so I had a little pretzel appetizer before I ate, but my dinners have not consisted of high carbs. So two of the nights I think I ate two Fit Life foods, which I'm gonna do a whole video on, and um, they're awesome because they're kind of just like a set meal. They're fresh and you can pop them in the microwave. And then Valerie also cooked, which we had chicken and broccoli with some holidays, so that was a little bit, but honestly, like it's not that big of a deal. So most of my dinners haven't been like carb heavy, my lunch is where kind of most of my carbs come from. And then when I have a little pretzel appetizer, you know, your girl just has to have that. So I haven't like overeaten though, which is really good. I didn't have any Doritos. <sighs> Doritos. And I didn't have any um, like 
chips and all of that. So I'm doing pretty well. Weight wise, I haven't like lost weight, but that's really not my goal in this. I just want to get toned and I want to feel better. So that is my overall goal with this. We went to Fit Life Foods, as you guys saw in some of my previous vlogs. It's awesome. The food is actually really fresh and I really like it. This isn't like a dedication video. This is like an update. So um, during the week I had Fit Life Foods um, kind of like spread out a little bit. Again, I'm not eating them like for all my meals because that's just too expensive. Um, I still have my turkey and salad, which I might have for lunch today or I might not. Basically, the results I've seen within my body, my legs are like, I'm not gonna say, I don't know, I don't think they're thinner. They're just like, I have less flubber. The flubber is like tightening up. If that, if you guys know what that means, like when I do the in and out, like in a plank position and I'm like hopping or going back and forth, going out or back and forward, those are so hard. It burns my legs so much when I'm on my back and stuff and we do like the workouts on your back. My back like farts. Does anyone else's fart? Cause it's kind of weird. Okay, this is like TMI, but when I'm still on the toilet, I don't have like cellulite. You know, you can kind of like see when your skin is sat on something, your skin's not smooth. Well, my skin is smooth now, so that's really cool. Um, I know I'm getting excited about like a little thing like that. Um, and then my thighs, yes, they still touch or whatever. The inner thigh isn't like flubbery a lot. So that's awesome. Um, my back fat, it's getting smaller guys. I think that is the biggest thing that's like really lost weight is like around here because I can feel it. Because how I know I need to start working out and really um, concentrating on what I eat and everything is when I can feel my freaking back fat when I walk. That is the most uncomfortable thing ever because I've never really had that when I was younger. But as I've gotten older, I'm like been feeling it and I'm just like, ew. It's kind of gross. And um, I still gotta work on this little thing. It's getting smaller. The upper fat roll's getting smaller. I really feel a change in my lower abs, like down here. And I also wanted to mention I'm a lot less bloated. So when you cut out carbs, not cut out, because clearly I'm never going to cut out carbs from completely in my life, unless I'm getting ready for my wedding or something drastic like that. Or, you know, someone pays me to model for them. I will probably cut out carbs completely. But other than that, I'm living my daily life. Never gonna give up some snacky food in my regular lunch. Not gonna happen. But when I do low carb, my stomach, it like deflates. So I already feel skinnier. And I know like you'll see this in the photos, but it's just like, this is me like actually trying and this is me not trying. It's just a lot deflated. It's like a balloon and I don't know what my body does. And I know this happened with Sherry too. When you go really low carb, it just really collapses your stomach and it's like flat. Not like a pancake yet, but we're getting there. I also find myself sitting up straighter at work and everything because of working your arms and your back. Since your muscles are activated is what I like to say. You don't really feel like you're, I mean, I slouch sometimes obviously, but like when you work out, you don't have to think about it as much because your muscles are like actually engaged and everything. Also, I want to say I'm sleeping a lot better and not that I've ever had a trouble sleeping, but um, I feel like I have more energy. I sleep better at night, but I've never really had a problem sleeping at night, so I don't even know why I'm saying that. But if you guys can tell me this, how do people wake up at like 5, 4 a.m. and work out? I can never do that. I always work out around 10.30, 10. And that's why I normally do it when I don't work. Um, my 15 minute workouts I do on Wednesdays when I do work, um, I do at night. And if I have an event on Saturday, I'm most likely going to work out after the event. But I just don't know how people work out so early. Okay, so how I stay motivated to work out because I feel like this is something that a lot of people have trouble with, even myself. So when I'm about to work out, I'm like, yes, I want a killer body. I want to be able to like take Instagram pictures and not worry about how I'm supposed to pose or something because you know how you have to kind of manipulate your body to make yourself like look the best? I really don't want to feel that way about myself and I just want to 
be able to work a bikini and all of that stuff and not go okay wait let me like pose like this and also i look at the time so most of chloe ting's workouts are pretty short like the 15 minute the 30 minute and i say alex it's 15 minutes out of your life if you like think about that on the long term and everything it's not that much time 30 minutes i'm like it's 30 minutes out of your day just do it and you just have to do it and that's how kind of I stay motivated and another thing I wanted to mention is during the workouts when I feel like giving up which I do give up don't get me wrong like I give up plenty um I sometimes have to do the modified versions or I just have to simply take a break during the workout but what keeps me going and getting back I'm like, okay, there's only 10 seconds left. Just do it for the last 10 seconds or five seconds or three seconds if that, but most likely I give up at three seconds anyway. And the last thing I wanted to touch on in this update video was obviously the before and after. On the left is the before and on the right is the after. The first photo on the left was taken last week and the photo on the right is taken this week. These are the photos enjoy look at them see it's not drastic like anything else like nothing's going to be drastic i just want you guys to know that um and i'm not expecting you don't just like drop 50 pounds not that i want to lose 50 pounds but you don't just drop weight in a week it takes time just like saving up for something now i want to show you guys the before and after before being on the left and after being on the right from before i started the workouts until the second week again i don't know if you guys can tell a lot but honestly, in my body, I feel a lot different. Um, the reason why I wanted to roll down my uh, leggings is because I feel like leggings kind of hold you in a little bit more and I just wanted to show you the raw stomach area. The legs are kind of hard to show off because black leggings don't really do it justice and I don't really have any, like shorts won't show you like everything. So anyway, we're just looking at the body from this from this outfit. Those were the photos. I hope you guys um, kind of got to see what you wanted to see. <laughs> that sounds weird. I also tried Lululemon leggings. The first impressions video will be coming up soon. And I also ordered some kick-ass active wear, which I'm gonna be making a dedicated video on. So if you wanna see that, then stay tuned, subscribe, and also give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you are doing her workouts too, or also leading a healthier lifestyle. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.